There's a certain beauty to broken things. With every flaw that there is, comes a story. And this iPod certainly is no exception. Welcome to another Apple demo video. And today, we're going to be looking at a prototype that wasn't destroyed by Apple, but by another person's carelessness. I would first like to mention that I was given this iPod as a gift, and that I was not the one who destroyed this prototype. Before I get into the reason why this iPod is in pieces and not a fully functional, stunning piece of Apple history, allow me to explain what this prototype is. This iPod Touch 6th generation model is a DVT stage prototype. This stands for Design Validation Testing and once was a fully functional piece of Apple history that ran Switchboard. Switchboard being Apple's engineering operating system when developing devices. As you can already tell from the video, there are a few hardware changes that this iPod has over retail models. The first being that the battery has some censored out information that is usually present. The boxes that are next to the recycling logo printed on the battery usually have different government agency information for regulating the sale of electronic devices. The iPod's frame also has a lot of placeholder text, with there being a lot of X's where the FCC ID and IC strings go. Also, that is common with earlier stage prototypes, is an engraved QR code with the serial number along with DVT main B2, indicating both the stage and the configuration, being the actual hardware revision of this unit. The logic board is also special, having a developmental A8 CPU. And of course, the serial number of this prototype does not show up under Apple's standard serial number search. But now that we've finished talking about what once was, let's get into what happened. Globally, there are a lot of recycling centers. However, this particular prototype originates from one in China. If you've seen any of my other videos, you already know that it's not uncommon for these types of facilities to get prototypes on occasion, and this iPod happened to be one such device. But instead of receiving the care that pieces of history, such as itself, deserve, it first was opened by someone who didn't know how to take out a motherboard. So they thought that it was a great idea to try to pry it out with a fucking flathead screwdriver which then, obviously, might have caused a few short circuits. And after getting the motherboard looked over, it has been deemed irreparable. Oh yeah, and they also ripped the battery flex cable, so you can't even use this prototype battery on anything anymore. But with that all being said, when I received this prototype as a gift, it was literally in pieces. Not even the screen is salvageable, because they managed to even rip the LCD cable. So instead of letting this iPod rot in my drawer, I decided that the best fate for this iPod should be to showcase its inner beauty. While by no means being a finished product yet, I've made the prototype into disassembled technology art. Luckily, all the pieces of this prototype are still 100% original, so this newfound purpose that I gave to the iPod works perfectly fine, despite most of the parts actually being broken. So now instead of keeping this prototype device in some drawer doing absolutely nothing, I can actually have it on my desk as a decorative piece. But what is the moral of the story here? Well, it would be don't let stupid people do stupid things, like use a flathead on a prototype. And by the way, this was not intentional to destroy it. It was just a case of someone not thinking. Anyways, if you want to see a video with a working prototype, go look at some of my other videos. And while you're at it, subscribe so you can keep up to date with my weekly uploads. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and have a good one.